Hi, and welcome to another edition of Merchology. Today I'd like to share with you a cool way to make thumb-stopping GIFs, to share announcements about your spread shop to your social media followers. Let's say we've just published a design to our shop, this one right here, printed by real people, and we want to share that with our audience. Let's start by gathering assets we may need. Head to the partner area and find the design you wish to make an announcement about. Clicking on the pencil edit icon, we can download a high res version of this design that we can work with in Photoshop. We can use Photoshop for this project or any other Photoshop alternatives. But in Photoshop, let's make a file size that is 1080 by 1080 pixels. That's the standard size for a social shareable for Instagram, let's say. And keep it at a screen resolution of 72 dots per inch. We now want to bring in those assets we grabbed. I found a Starburst asset that I, I'd like to use for a background image. So I drag and drop this into a layer in my Photoshop file. We want to keep our layers really organized during this whole project, as when we create our GIF animation, it will make it a lot easier. So we now want to drag in that design layer and position it appropriately on the artboard. I noticed that some of my design isn't quite legible, so I'm going to do a little stylistic choice and add a rectangle to the bottom of my design, making the design more readable in that area. I really want that spread shop original to pop off this artboard. I'm also going to add a stroke to the design to make that also stand out on its own. These are just design choices I'd like to make for my image. I'm then going to merge these layers, the rectangle and the design layer into one, again keeping layers very organized for the animation we'll create later. Now, my animation is going to swap through several different backgrounds to add that pop of color that I want. So, taking this sunburst, I'm going to add a color overlay to make my first background layer. Then duplicating that layer, I made three background layers of this sunburst. I'm going to put a different color overlay on each layer. One's going to be pink, one's going to be more orange, playing with the effects to get my desired results. Now I have three layers and my animation is gonna look something similar to this where I, I am clicking through the visibility to show you that the background will just kind of spark and change. I am grouping this again, organizing my layers into a background group. I also wanna add some sort of pop, some sort of announcement. I wanna say something like new design or new merch or check out my store. So I grabbed a kind of a custom shape, starburst type shape. I'm gonna put that in the corner. I'm gonna layer it so it kind of has some depth and layer a, another starburst on top of that. I'm also going to add some font that says new merch so people know what I'm advertising. Reworking this announcement layer until I get the desired effect I want and the desired look I'm aiming to achieve. Changing the font, the color, the size, rearranging it just so it looks very cool in the corner of my design. Once I'm happy with all my layers and I kind of have a vision for my animation and my layers are very organized, I'm going to head to Window and Timeline to start creating the actual animation of this GIF. In the timeline window, I want to click on new video timeline, and you'll see that all the layers have been imported into a timeline here for us, and they match up nicely with the layers in our layer panel. This timeline is a set of frames progressing from left to right. We can change the length of the visibility of each layer and offset them as we wish to kind of create an animation-like effect. Essentially, we're turning on and off the visibility of these layers as the timeline progresses. We then want to have our design layer play throughout the whole 30 frames. So we drag our design layer and our text layer 
our little new merch layer all the way back so that we have a nice concise timeline. You can preview your timeline by pressing the play button. I'll move it out of the way so we can see. Pressing the play button, we see that it's timed nicely. And this is how we want it. Once you love your timeline and your animation, go to File, Export, and Export for Web. Make sure it's set to a GIF preset and a GIF file type, and set the looping options to forever. This will make your GIF loop on and on forever. Once we like what we see, we can save our GIF, title it something appropriately so we can find it later, and click Save. Moving over to a browser, we can drag and drop this file into the browser to preview how our GIF turned out. And now you can share new shop announcements to your socials with thumb-stopping content. Using GIFs or videos allows for you to get more exposure to your fans and drives more traffic to your shop. Happy selling.